Staying in sync with tempo changes or markers is crucial when composing any kind of music. Cubase 11 makes your life easier with global tracks now able to be displayed in the key editor. With no need to leave the key editor anymore, this great visual reference will keep your compositions moving along quickly and creatively. Let's take a look. Whether you're writing music for films or you're producing music, this new feature in Cubase 11 will make you very happy. Let me show you. Here I have a track that I've composed for a film trailer. And as you can see, I have a video track. I have a markers track where I've set up my cues. I have a tempo track because I have quite a few tempo changes. I have the chord track so that I can see what my harmony is on every part of the piece. And I also have my signature changes because I have quite a few signature changes. It's with 4-4, four, four, then we go 3-4, 7 8 and so on and so forth. Now, these tracks in Cubase can really help you get a clear idea of what's going on into your music. But now we can have all these tracks visible into the key editor while we're editing our MIDI notes. Let me show you, let me open this violas part here. So this is our key editor and what I had to do up to this point is I would basically lose the overview of my track and I would have to go back and forth to see my cues and my tempo changes and all these things. But now in Cubase 11 I can activate my global tracks inside the key editor. Let me show you, I go to global tracks and I can click on this show hide button and now I have my video track, my markers, my tempo track, my chord track and my time signature track all in the key editor which makes editing and recording so much easier because I can see exactly what's going on. So now I can move frame by frame, I can see exactly what's going on in my video track because I can zoom in and I can see the previews. So this makes it very easy to synchronize, for example, my markers with some notes. I can drag them and I can place them exactly on the marker like this. And as you can see, the marker line also extends to the key editor which makes everything super, super easy. So if you're writing music for films and you have multiple cues and hit points that you need to hit, this will be very, very handy. Now, when you're actually composing, this can also be very useful. So let's say I want to record some horns. I can open my key editor and not only I can see my tempo changes, I can also see the time signature so I can be prepared if I have to play on a 3-4 bar or a 7-8 bar. And I can also see what chords I have to play because we have the chord track right here. So now I'm going to record my horn parts and I can see that I have a D minor coming up. So I start with a D minor. Crescendo. Now I'm expecting the seven eights there. I don't have to leave the key editor. So as you can see, I can record my MIDI parts while having a clear view of the cues, of the tempo changes, of the chord track, and the time signatures. And it goes without saying that if you want to pinpoint a certain hit point in your film, this is now very easy because when you work inside the key editor, that means that I can see all the hit points that I've set, for example, this one. And maybe here I know that I'm going to have a nice quiet piano note to give a little bit of contrast. So now I can go ahead and record. And now I can edit all these notes exactly how I want to, hitting all those hit points and changing them so they fit exactly my film. As you can see, the global tracks can not only give you a very comprehensive view of what's going on in your music inside the key editor, but can also be an invaluable tool when you're producing or composing music. <laughs>